Hey, peace, love, and light, the beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Q, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Um, this reading is going to be general, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones, whatever it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. This will also be a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, will be the exact and divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, I was shuffling these cards, and as you can see, there's a few of them that are laid out because as I was shuffling, these flew out. So I want to uh, expound on these messages, and then I'll put them back in the deck, reshuffle them, and then select our actual messages. But I do feel like these messages uh, wanted to be expounded on. Uh, what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have Prosperity Lies Ahead. So many of you all are coming into a time period where there's abundance, um, there's success, there's fulfillment. The song that we have playing right now is Tidra Moses' Complex Simplicity. For all of you who are familiar with my channel, I am Claire Audien and I do incorporate music into the readings. And so we have Complex Simplicity and this is the title track. Um, and this is by Tidra Moses. And what she's saying in the song is that we're going to party, you know, um, you know, as if it's a brighter day, you know, and so it's like a, a celebratory song, a song to kind of like celebrate your wins. And with this prosperity lies ahead, I do feel like, you know, there's been some sense of you really working hard. I was showing you the wrong card. Prosperity lies ahead. Um, so I do feel like there's been some sense of you all putting in a lot of um, a lot of energy in you, you know, achieving your goals, you know, um, and going towards, you know, certain dreams and aspirations because we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. And so I do feel like a lot of you were uh, going through some sort of karmic lessons or experiencing some sort of karmic um, completions, like you've been kind of like wrapping up a karmic lesson. And because of that, that's why you're being rewarded with this prosperity because you've kind of bulldozed your way through it. Um, the song we have right now is called Surface and it's Falling in Love. So for some of you all, you're like holding on to this, this dream or this ideal love ship or love connection. Maybe there's someone in particular that you have in your mind that you may feel like is the one that got away or that is your person. And I feel like there is, um, a need for you to hold that vision. Um, I'm kind of sounding choked up because my sage was just burning. My dragon's blood dip sage is burning. And it was like really smoky. But what we have right here is this says, have faith in your dreams. So it's like, you know, if some of you all have been, like I said, dreaming of something in particular, and you may have found yourself getting a little discouraged. It's like, hold on to that dream because this song is falling in love. I do feel like, you know, maybe the, this is impertinence to love. Like maybe you have a dream person or a dream circumstance or situation and you're like kind of trying to hold on to that vision so as not to, um, you know, so as not to lose it. Um, what we also have is balanced spirituality and practicality. So some of you all are, you know, truly trying to understand how to you know still be spiritual but still also deal with the worldly um worldly issues you know it's like when you're spiritual uh people tend to think that your problems go away and you automatically you know will just have everything handed to you and that's simply not the case you still have to be practical you still have to be um you know devoted to whatever it is that you are you know desiring to manifest or change in your life and sometimes that requires, you know, alterations, you know, making adjustments um, in the way that you're perceiving certain things. So I do feel like there is this sense of balance um, that you are, you know, starting to um, achieve, you know, in your day to day. Um, and I feel like, you know, for many of you all, because of the difficulties you were dealing with, especially um, in, in, you know, ending a cycle, especially a tough cycle, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe some of you had to wear this armor. You had to be very guarded. You had to be very uh, protective of your energy. And so, you know, maybe that, 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 um, that armor had kind of turned into something more permanent. 
opposed to something that you just apply when necessary. And so maybe you're coming off a little more proud, you know, not as open to receiving assistance and help. And, you know, one of the main uh, necessities in order for you to achieve blessings and to have your dreams um, come true is you have to be receptive. You have to be open to it. So you don't want to let pride get in the way of you having this opportunity to either fall in love again or have, you know, certain people come into your life. Uh, maybe some of you, I'm hearing the word rigid in my mind's eye. So maybe some of you are turning too rigid, turning, you know, too um, focused on one thing. And it's like you have to still be open and receptive. Um, communication is key is here. So maybe you've kind of blocked some people off out of pride or because you didn't want to hurt yourself. Maybe you felt like you um, were dealing with someone who kind of was kind of showing you two different you know sides of themselves one minute they seemed like they were all in next minute they were kind of like falling back and I feel like it's because you know of the fears maybe you felt they were hiding something um, or maybe you knew intuitively that there was more to the story and they weren't sharing it I do feel like there is going to be some sort of resolve and a conclusion um, if you are questioning if you do have these inquiries um, I do feel like this person may come in to address the situation or whoever this is may come in to, you know, clear the air, to kind of iron things out. Um, we also have look at the bigger picture. So this is bigger than you and that person. There is like um, a divine intervention taking place. There is, um, you know, this the divine is, you know, kind of aligning you with your right person and because there seems to have been like a lot of obstacles, you know, and a lot of miscommunication, you know, and a lot of pride and ego um, in in the mix. It, it has somehow, you know, kind of like um, skewed your vision. But I feel like the divine is saying, look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is falling in love. The bigger picture is love. The bigger picture is being in alignment with the person that you desire. You may feel like this person is your wish fulfillment, but I also feel like with the Sagittarius, this is like temperance things happening in divine timing. So you can't rush the process and you also can't control when, you know, when things will occur. You just have to kind of like still work on yourselves, still be proactive and still be patient um, in this process because there's things happening behind the scenes that you may not be privy to. And next we have your commitment is being tested. So it's like the bigger picture is that the divine wants to know how bad you want something. And there's going to be a lot of obstacles and a lot of delays and blockages, especially when you feel something is divine, divinely meant for you. The divine is going to test you to see if that's what you really want or if you're going to waver when something else that appears to be better shows up. And so the divine is trying to test you to see, like, will you... Um, Will you sustain, you know? And right now we have Tell Me by Eric um, Sermon. So it's like the divine is um, almost wanting you, um, you know, to be patient because somebody is coming in, I feel, to tell you that maybe they fell in love. Um, maybe the divine is telling you, like, you know, this process of healing or this process is taking this long because someone is coming into the realization that they have um, deeper feelings. Um, we have what do you need to release is here. So maybe there's, you know, the divine is also giving you um, some time to let go of something uh, from your past because as we saw, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So in order for uh, this tough cycle to completely end, uh, you have to have released um, you know, people, places, things, ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, um, you know, and, and you know, so that you can come into the new. And so I do feel like there is a sense that the divine is, you know, waiting for you to let go of the old so that they can let the new, you know, come in for you. And the divine wants you to know, you know, that you are good enough. So whatever it is that you have been praying for, whatever dreams, aspirations that you've been holding on to, the divine is letting you know, absolutely, you're good enough. And you're good enough to have exactly what you want. And you're also good enough to... Um, to, you know, have this sense of, 
you know, stability and security, uh, this, this sustenance, you know, and I feel like, you know, even with this prosperity card in the bottom of the deck, the divine is also saying that, you know, there will be rewards, uh, for your efforts and for, you know, your hard work because you've obviously, you know, when you're closing up a tough cycle, there could have been betrayal, backstabbing, lying, cheating, deceit, um, all kinds of things could have come through. And it was just 10, 10 on the clock. So you did go through uh, a very painful karmic ending, but I do um, also know that every ending denotes a brand new beginning. So you are being thrusted into and catapulted into a whole new whole new life. So that was just on the split collective. So this will be a general reading for the collective. So regardless of what your sun, moon, rising is, if this message resonates, it is for you. Um, I do want to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, ascended masters, animal totems, Earth, Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light for our beloved Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So as I said, my name is Q. This will be a general reading. I am Claire Audian. I'm intuitive. I'm empathic. And you will hear music playing. Uh, in the background because I do incorporate it into the readings. Uh, this is the weather report and this is called Cucumber Slumber. Um, so what's really sticking out to me is weather report. So I do feel like, you know, we're going to check the temperature here to see what's coming and going out, going on with you, with your person, with the energies that are around you. And so um, maybe that's what this is kind of chiming in on is that um, you are getting a forecast of the circumstance 11 11 i feel like a, a love a love is coming in i feel like um there's going to be some communication i feel there's going to be some unexpected communication look at that so prosperity is here on the bottom of the deck beloveds again and this is your overall energy and it was just 12 12 12 12 reduces to three three and three three reduces to six so this is definitely like the lovers um, and you're also you're going to have prosperity and abundance. You're going to feel very prosperous, very, very abundant. I feel someone's coming in. I feel like this has been a very um, difficult. Um, it's been a very difficult process because I feel like it's almost been uh, kind of like a fight, you know, and I'm hearing the word battlegrounds. So maybe the two of you were kind of like, you know, there was resistance initially because whenever you have real love, true love, like a soul union, there's a dance, there's a spiritual dance, and there's always one that's awakened to the connection or the relationship or the, you know, the depth of that connection um, more than the other. And so there, that's why there's this runner chaser dynamic um, in these spiritual unions because one person is activated and awaken to the depth of the connection more than the other. I feel because you've been resilient and because you knew your worth and value, because you've done a lot of healing, um, there is the sense that you're being rewarded. Uh, some of you may have Taurus in your chart. This is a new moon in Taurus. I actually have um, Taurus in my moon. Um, moon um, in my moon. I'm, I'm a Taurus moon. So I definitely resonate with this message, but I also feel like some of you could also um, just simply be coming into some sort of prosperity and abundance because of a lot of the work you've been uh, putting in. We have take time to breathe out. So yeah, as I'm speaking about the work you've been putting in, the divine is saying now is the perfect time to kind of woo sob, you know, to exhale, you know, kind of like, Exhale all the bullshit, you know, kind of give yourself a chance to like recharge, rejuvenate. You know, you've been kind of like going and going just like that, like that energizer buddy. And I feel like the divine is giving you that moment to just kind of exhale, you know, to breathe out all the bullshit, all the stress, uh, because you've been very strong. You know, this is a very powerful, um, a very powerful um, buck 
Is that what you, no, I said a buck. This is a cow, this is a bull, excuse me. And so, the, you know, it's like, you've, you've had to, you've had to be very, even though you felt really passionate and, and this energy, like you wanted to just like, to, to, to bust some ass, you just had to kind of, you had to be more reserved, you know, you had to be more reserved, you had to be wise in the way that you approached things. Um, and I feel 15, 15 on the clock again, um, not again, but six, six again. Um, so that's six, six, 12, that's three. So there's definitely a sense that you've been like really planning and preparing. Um, and you've had to really restrain yourself because there was times where you really wanted to, to go buck on somebody, but you really kind of just like, you didn't allow yourselves to get out of character almost. You stayed focused on the goal, on the end goal, on the bottom line. And, you know, now you can kind of like, you know, you can kind of breathe out. You can kind of relax. Um, so let's see what we got coming and going out. Going on for the collective divine spirit of love and light. But I do see abundance. I see opulence. I see expansion. I see financial freedom, success. So this fell out first. It says hold your vision. So whatever your vision is, I do feel like it will lead to some level of success, ability, prosperity. There is something within your your talents and your gifts that you may um, that may lead to success. You know, like you're being rewarded. The, the divine is giving you instructions to hold your vision. Don't don't get distracted, you know, and don't get discouraged, more importantly, because prosperity lies ahead. And that's why I was feeling like you're just like right at the brink of something, you know, and it's like, you, you, you know, you, you've been really working tediously on something and you're right there, you know. These mountains denote all the difficulties, you know, all the tough terrain that you've had to endure in this process, on this journey. But there's prosperity which lies ahead. And we have Gills and Tails by Amel LaRoe. And this card is a new romantic cycle begins. So many of you are coming into a new romantic cycle. And this is like wish fulfillment, 1717. That's 88, which reduces to 16, which reduces to 7. And so intuitively, you know this. With gills and tails, that's like a fish. Fish are very intuitive. So I do feel like with that number seven, that's the crown chakra. So you all know that there is a new romantic cycle that's happening. This person's coming in and they're going to balance you. It's almost like the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. So that karmic completion is done. And that's why the divine is saying you got to release. So in order for all of this to take place, you have to release the old. So all of the new um, possibilities, you know, the infinite possibilities can come in for you. But there's a new cycle, a new love cycle, a new romantic cycle. And this person, I feel like this is also like your karma. I also feel this will lead to marriage. Like this will be someone, you know, that will be everything that you envision. They will tick all your boxes. You know, this is the person that you've prayed for, wished for, hoped for. 18, 18 on the clock again, 9, 9. So both of you are completing a cycle. There's a positive change that's taking place. Nine is the highest number of change. So right now things are kind of like incubating, you know, behind the scenes. The divine is kind of conspiring to bring this union into fruition for you. And the answers you need are coming. So many of you are like, you could feel it and sense it in your gut you know, there's this this sixth sense that you're feeling um, that someone is returning. You know, I feel a sense of return because I do feel like, as I said, that you may have been, you know, departed from, you know, uh, someone that you may have felt was like your person when you first met that person. Um, whoever this is, uh, you just felt a sense of... Um, familiarity like this chemistry deep it's like you almost felt like you fell in love it's almost like the movies like where you feel like you fell at love at first sight that's the type of energy and with the answers you need are coming someone is coming to express something to you I feel like they're coming in to uh, perhaps give you some 
they're coming back to give you clarity on what happened and why they may have like just kind of ghosted you or why the connection just kind of fizzled out why you may have felt abandoned because this has gills and tails and maybe you know intuitively that they had something else or someone else in the picture so divine spirit of love and light but i do feel like this is your karma because you held your vision you know maybe you held on to this person you dreamt about them a lot or you thought about them often you felt this person in your energy um even though you weren't in communication and this could be because they were thinking of you you know so you were picking on, on picking up on the fact that they were thinking of you i do feel that there's a strong um telepathic or intuitive uh connection chemistry communication that the two of you may share and indulge in and um, we got meditate and contemplate so someone is kind of going within you know trying to get things straight by going within because they know that the answers they seek are found within I was also feeling there was a need to kind of like go within to quiet the mind you know to kind of exhale and I'm, I'm doing the breathing because I'm seeing in my mind as someone just kind of like just exhaling, meditating, they're just kind of going through those breathing techniques. Because things have been like really, you know, this bull, you know, the, I'm hearing the term like a bull in a china closet. It's like, you know, a bull in a china closet is going to like tear some shit up. But I feel like there was a sense that you had to kind of like reserve, you had to be reserved. You had to tame that, 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 like that, that, uh, that energy, that rambunctious you know, energy. You had to tame it to hold your vision so as not to to lose it, so as not to lose or miss an opportunity. Even though you felt like tearing some shit up, it's like you had to you had to hold your vision. What was the bottom line? What was the bigger picture? Just like those cards were showing. So now you're you're very much in this space and state that you know that in order for, you know, things to move forward you got to make your next move your best move okay so this card wants to come out so it says be bold and make the first move so for some of you all the divine is telling you in order for this new romantic cycle to begin you have to make the first move the divine is saying that you have to initiate contact communication and once you do that, I feel like the answers will come, the person will open up, and they will, you know, expose whatever it was that you were questioning or whatever confusion. And the divine is um, playing right now, flowetry, say yes. So it's like once you make the first move, this person is going to say yes to you, or there will be a yes answer. And we have, you're very close to achieving your goals. So it's, to me, I'm hearing like it's, it's how bad you want it. So if you want something to change within your circumstance or situation, the divine is saying you're the one that has to initiate it. You're the one that's going to have to make that bold first step. And you have to get out of your head. Cardinal is um, is fire energy, and they're very action-oriented. So they go after what they want. They're very, um, they're very resilient, very persistent, very confident very assertive and so the divine is saying that when you go after what you want when you make that initial first step somebody's going to say yes see all you got to do is say yes don't deny what you feel this is by flowetry and next we have surrender to the divine so the divine wants you to surrender to them and trust what these instructions so it's like a lot of y'all are doubting, like, I ain't making no first move. Some of you ladies feel like you should be courted, and that's actual factuals. But I feel like the divine is saying, trust what they're saying, because, you know, maybe your person is stuck in a funk, and they're unsure, they're unclear, they can't get a read, they can't gauge how you feel. So they don't want, you know, remember pride, you know, so maybe that was them being more proud, you know, proud. And, and when it comes to matters of the heart, um, sometimes you have to initiate. You have to go after what you want. You know, if you feel something's important enough, you're gonna go after it. You're gonna go. You're gonna go get it. And so the divine is saying, all you gotta do is say yes. Don't deny what you feel. You know, so surrender to the divine. The divine is giving you instruction. So be obedient. 
you know, the divine is giving you instruction. So be persistent, you know, be confident, be assertive. This is powerful. You're very close. So if you take the instruction of the divine, then you will reach your goals. You will reach, you know, you will reach your goals in your, um, And you will achieve them, I'm hearing. You will achieve them. Some, something just flew out. Look at this. It just fell out of the box. True love. This is a true love circumstance. And I feel like this is your bonus message. And we're going to keep it. This is true love. This is a circumstance of true love. This is a situation. It says the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. And that's why the divine is saying surrender to the divine. Because... The divine knows all. Divine timing is in of the essence. So you have to say yes to this situation. You can't deny this. You know, we're in the 21st century, ladies. So, you know, a man does not need to court you all the time. Sometimes you got to step up. Expect a miracle is on the bottom of the deck. So this is like wish fulfillment for some of you all. This is someone that you have been thinking about like forever. And the divine is saying, if you want this person, if you want this situation then you're going to have to go after it because a lot of you have been holding this vision. As I said, some of you all think about this person daily. There's not a day that goes by where this person does not run across your mind, where you do not think of this person or do not envision yourselves uh, being embraced by this individual. And the divine is saying that a new cycle absolutely can begin, but it's going to require you to make the first move. Even if the first move is simply sending a text and saying, hey, how are you? Just sparking a conversation, showing this person there is some interest because I feel like they're confused by your actions. Maybe, as I said, some of you all may have, um, you know, kind of ghosted them or there was some separation. But the divine wants you to surrender, surrender to the situation. And um, this is true love. So they're sending someone who absolutely um, is your divine counterpart and we got Dr. Octagon which is cool Keith and this is called intro and so this will be the introduction to a new cycle as we saw here a new romantic cycle begins so this is the introduction and this is wish fulfillment you know Mother Mary is like I said behind the scenes your ancestors angels guides are aligning you with your person and it's because you've completed a tough cycle. It's because you held your vision. It's because you've been persistent, you know? So divine spirit of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. So we got a bunch of cards. So high priestess, what did I say about you all knowing? Having that sixth sense. So you are the high priestess. You are very abundant, very successful. You know that you are being rewarded. Right now we got Gangsta Boo playing Where Them Dollars At. 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 Huh? Where Them Dollars At. Well, prosperity lies ahead. So that's what you're saying. Where Them Dollars At. Because I done put in the work. I know what I done did. I know what I deserve. And the divine is like, them dollars is coming, boo. You know it. You can feel it. You can sense it. You're highly intuitive, very clairvoyant. I feel like you have divine knowledge. And so when you tapped into that ancient wisdom, it's like you know. And this looks like a large pentacle behind her, you know. It looks like a pentacle to me because it's gold. And so you know, like, you could, you could smell the money. It's about to be, you know, it's like literally about to be, um pouring in for you and I feel like it's because of you know all of you know the work you know you've really done the work look at this endings and beginnings completions of cycles it's the same message that came out in the beginning that I expounded on so every ending denotes a new beginning you've just completed a very difficult difficult cycle and I feel like you have learned so much about yourselves in that process many of you all learned the art of forgiving you know, you've learned that forgiveness was for you by you releasing some pain and hurt and trauma that you've experienced. It broke some sort of hexes, curses and yokes that may have kept you bound and stuck. You know, your first eye is wide open. You see things clearly now. 
You're highly intuitive, very clairvoyant. And I feel like you've leveled up. You have held your vision, you know, because you trusted your intuition. When things didn't sit right or feel right in your spirit, I feel like it's because you was following and using, I should say, discernment. You know, you knew that there was something that was done. What did I say about these mountains? They denote difficulties. But there's the end of these difficulties because you're making a decision and a choice to release something, to let it go. And this beautiful lotus represents forgiveness, represents love, prosperity as well. So it's like it's in the palm of your hand because you did the work. It's what you did. You know, you took your healing. You took your life into your, your own hands. You took the reins of your life into your hands and you made the necessary changes. So this world card definitely speaks to self-mastery. You know, learning to navigate, you know, difficult circumstances, difficult relationships, friendships, love ships, just dynamics overall. But your first eye has been opened. So now you see with your first eye and not your two. And so now you will always be like 10 steps ahead of the game because now you're going according to how things sit right in your spirit, opposed to how you see things or how you perceive things, you know? Next, we have purification. So this is yet again about releasing, detoxifying, letting go of what no longer serves you. You know, this is about healing mind, body, and soul. And when you heal at a soul level, then you now are opened to the new. A new cycle can begin because you have released something from your past. You know, you have let go of something. You have purified yourself. You have clean, cleared, and cleansed yourself. 3131, that's a 4-4. Four, four. So that's your angels and guides, as I said, bringing in like a twin flame, you know, bringing in someone that will absolutely be that divine counterpart, the yang to your yin. As I said, this balance, it will balance you. You two will balance one another. And this is showing that you've done a lot of deep dives. You've had to heal. You know, you've also learned to, you know, balance your own emotions. This is very beautiful, very powerful. Look at this, boundaries. So what was I saying with this boundaries? We're clarifying, you know, be bold. So your guard, you know, you have to let your guard down a little bit. And I know you have your guard up, your defenses up because of what you experienced in the past. And that's what I was saying, that you have this armor, but you have to let it you got to let your, your guard down a little bit and be open, be receptive so that new newness can take place, you know, because when you are too guarded, you don't allow the good things that you're hoping for and desiring to come in. And we got Raphael Sadiq ask of you. So the divine is asking of you, whoever's watching, you know, out there that you make the first step, that you're bold. You know, and this is also pride also feeling like you shouldn't make the first move because, well, I'm the I'm the woman. So the man is supposed to court me. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe there's some masculines out there who are being very egotistical, like I'm not making no first move. You know what I'm saying? She ghosted me. So I'm not making no first. You know what I'm saying? But the divine is saying, look, all they're asking of you, if you want this ball to start moving forward or you want this wheel to start moving is you got to let down your guard a little bit. You got to be more receptive. You know, you have to have healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries isn't building a fucking like, you know, impenetrable wall around you um, or around your heart, I should say. You know what I'm saying? You can be protective of yourself and your space and your energy, but not of your heart to that extent. Because then you not only are you uh, preventing, you know, you're, you're not allowing yourselves to to receive the love. And you're not allowing yourselves to give love, you know, so your boundaries, it says love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. But when you're doing something excessively, then it becomes toxic. So the divine is saying, be bold and make the first move uh, because maybe, you know, maybe someone else is very guarded. And so they want you, as I said initially, um, to make that first step because maybe they're um, intimidated by you, you know, maybe they they can't read you. They can't gauge. 
So, you know, maybe they're a little defensive and they, you know, protecting themselves because they don't want to get their head chopped off. But look at this, sorceress, Rhiannon. So you all are very, this is like the second time. You're very psychic. Whoever's tuning in, tapping in, like y'all are very psychic. You're very cerebral. You know, you're very in tune, you know, and you, you, you can read people very well. You also know how to master manifest what you want. You know, you don't have no difficulty in manifesting. It's like you know how to channel that energy. And with this surrender to the divine, it's like, as I said, like the divine is like activating you with some sort of skills, talents, gifts, and they want you to hone it. Surrender to the divine. So you have a purpose, a calling. You know, there's a, a mission. Uh, maybe you are here to to be like an earth angel or maybe you are an earth angel and you're here to help enlighten the collective. Um, and I see here you are a magical person who can manifest your clear in, uh, intentions into reality. So this is something that you very well may have manifested in the divine. It's like you you asked for this, so now you have to you have to surrender to it. You can't run from it. And that's why the divine is playing ask of you. This is what they're as you ask this of the divine to bring someone back into your life or to to rectify this situation or to bring this connection back into fruition. And they're like, okay, you gotta surrender. If you want it, you gotta surrender. Because I'm 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 granting the wish, the prayer. Remember, you know, miracles. You know, that prayer, that wish was being granted to you. And so we have some additional messages. Look, you got prosperity again. You all are definitely coming into abundance and the divine is rewarding you because I feel like as we saw, like, you know, tough cycles, they deserve to be rewarded because you, you, you know, I feel like I'm hearing the word integral, you know, you remained integral in the process. You didn't get petty. You didn't get dirty. You didn't fight dirty. Even if you was done dirty, you didn't do to those who did you dirty. You didn't do back to them what they did to you. And that's power. You know, power and maturity is when you have everything, you know what I'm saying, in your power to take someone out and down, but you choose the higher road. So you're being rewarded. The divine is pouring this out. And remember, that's why you have to be open. You got to be open to receive. You can't be so closed off because this person that you are calling in and praying for, they're here. They're here whenever you're ready for them, but you got to open up. And we got um, slave watching you. So this person definitely is tuning in to you, um, whether through social media, virtual reality, doing background checks, Google checks, Google searches. Um, maybe they're looking at pictures, old pictures that they have of you. But I do feel a sense of like secret admirer energy. With this home card, I do feel like there's been a lot of changes. Maybe this person is making a move, you know, maybe they're moving out of a home. Maybe someone lived with someone, a feminine or a mother. Maybe someone was like, you know, um, influencing them in some way, but there is positive changes. So maybe somebody's getting out of a circumstance and they're moving into their own or maybe in the near future. This is speaking to the fact that you and this person may very well share a home. But I also feel this is speaking to your physical body, you know, like your your avatar that, you know, maybe you've, you've been making a lot of positive changes within your body. Uh, you've been detoxing. Um, if you haven't been, I feel like the divine is encouraging some of you all to do just that. You definitely have a very powerful connection to Mother Gaia. So I do feel like going outside in nature, uh, you know, taking nature walks, going by bodies of water. If you live in a beach town, go and sit by that ocean. Um, I do feel like there will be a lot of downloads. I feel like you'll feel very grounded. Um, you'll also feel this strong sense of like release of, 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 you know, um, being in, in your oneness, wholeness, you know, because I do feel there's something, you know, communication coming to you. And I feel like in order for you to handle the situation, um, appropriately, you may need to like, you know, woosa, take that, you know, remember you had meditate, but you do have true love also. So someone's watching you. This is someone who loves you. This is someone that you love. This is someone that you have a very powerful uh, connection and chemistry with. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to further clarify. We're going to do some. We're going to do some deep dives. I do deep dives if you're not familiar. Um, my readings vary. They could be between an hour and thirty to, 
you know, almost three. I, mean, I said almost three, almost two. So, you know, that's that's the way I do it here. I like to delve deep because I don't do personal, so I like to leave you with a very clear message. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to use the uh, Witch's Wisdom card. Uh, bottom of the deck, grounded. What did I say just now about you, you know, feeling more grounded, more in, you know, in that space of alignment because we just had Mother Ma Wu. So many of you definitely need to ground yourselves. You're healing. You know, I do feel a sense of healing. You know, you're feeling more in harmony, more in balance, you know. And someone is also um, feeling that. You know, maybe they feel like you ground them. They feel grounded around you. Say so they have a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion. I'm hearing the word ecstasy. But there's a fire and a desire um, to come toward you. Okay, we got some runaways. And this person is watching you. And the passion is still in the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is that has true love, there's there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of desire. They're watching you and they're growing. Um, it's almost like they're growing more impatient. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to make this move because they're intimidated. Maybe by whatever it is you're doing. Because I do feel like some of you all absolutely have some some level of success or you're, you're in the spotlight you're being recognized or there's some you know some some you know there's eyes on you and I feel not only are their eyes on you but others you know people's eyes are on you so we have fertility look at this so this is someone that's like a, a you know twin flame yang to your yin yin to your yang you know this is someone who's and really, really passionate about you. With the fertility card, I see this burning desire. This is a feminine and masculine energy kind of embracing. And this is coming right underneath high, um, this is the high priestess and prosperity. And we got J. Cole, love yours. You know, so this person here, absolutely, I feel, you know, maybe this is speaking to you because fertility is like the um, divine feminine, the empress energy. And so I feel like you are very powerful. And I feel in many ways you have manifested um, a lot of the changes, a lot of the, the abundance in your life. I feel you're also very intuitive. You're like master manifestors. You're highly, highly... Um, magical beings very prosperous and you have a very um you have gifts talents you're tapped in tuned in celestially galactically you know there's just this divine energy and i feel like you've been manifesting this person this person is um drawn to you there's a chemistry these two people are embracing one another there's like this this growing um attraction and i feel like this person didn't Maybe they didn't appreciate you because we got love yours. You know, maybe they knew all along you were theirs, but they tried to deny it. It was just 4242, which is 66. And so this person does want to return. 66 returns, uh, reduces to three. Because it's 12, it reduces to three. So this person does want to reunite. I feel intuitively you know. And I feel like not only will this person return, um, but I feel like you will be rewarded because... Um, as I said, the word integral was sticking out, but you have, you know, you, you've turned all of your focus on, you know, perhaps creating, you know, maybe your, your endeavors, your business endeavors, your career, um, your family, your household. Um, but I do feel like this is making you more attractive. There's people who find you to be very attractive, very alluring, you know, there's a magnetism, there's this strong, um, powerfully beautiful energy and vibration around you and I feel like it's because you love yourself self-love always makes you more attractive and I also feel like a lot of you are you know you you have the ability to um, you're very fertile at this time so if you don't want to um, get pregnant you should be very mindful because I do feel like when this person comes in there's going to be a whole lot of love making going on you know because this is true love and so that energy in and of itself is going to make you to want to be intimate, want to um, engage in that powerful act, you know. Next, we have intention. So as I said, withhold your vision. We got intention, and now we have endings and beginnings. 
So you definitely knew, you know, when it was time to release something that was not serving your highest good. And it's because you were setting your intentions on achieving a particular goal. Just as Rhiannon said, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions. Four, 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 four. So that's confirmation that you all were manifesting love, a divine masculine, a divine circumstance, because four is the number, that vibration of the 1111. And so you're really manifesting. Your clear intentions was to manifest a divine counterpart, to manifest or call in your soulmate, your twin flame. And with this, we have loving you as easy. And this is by Maxi Priest. So yeah, you wanted someone that you could have a beautiful and easy love connection with because the former cycle, it was very tough, as the card said before. So you were going through a very tough cycle with someone. You know, there was a lot of, um, it was a lot of fighting, a lot of battle. You know, there was, it wasn't an easy process because I feel like the two of you just kind of differed. Um, you differed in terms of what you wanted out of the relationship, where you wished to take the relationship, the direction, you know, you may have differed in terms of even parenting styles, you know, maybe even spirituality. So there was a lot of differences. There was a lot of things that made the relationship more toxic. And so I feel like you made um, a decision to kind of finalize that circumstance. And you set your intentions to manifest what you actually want. This is like a magical wand where you can set your intention and manifest what you want. So it's like you knew that you were a sorceress, a magician, the alchemist. And you could set your intention to bring forth what you want. And you held your vision. As I said, what you knew you wanted in your lives... You didn't let up. You didn't give up on that. And that's what's bringing it in now. So this is powerful. The next message we have is spring. So this is watchtower of the east. So many of you could reside on the east coast. But I feel like this is also saying, you know, in the springtime, this new cycle may, may uh, manifest itself. You know, in the springtime, which is the new year to me, because that's when everything is blossoming and growing again. So divine timing again is of the essence. And this will be someone that brings, you know, a lot of ease, a lot of love, a lot of happiness and joy. You know, it's like a transformation, a transformative time. And it's because you've released what no longer served you. You've gotten rid of the old so that this new cycle can begin. So that this new love cycle, so that this new love connection, this new love dynamic could, could begin. This is beautiful. And I feel like there will be a lot of communication back and forth. But loving you is easy. So this will be someone that definitely uh, speaks your love language. As I said, the two of you will balance one another out. So, you know... The conversations will be flowing. If you're, if you, you know, if communication is one of your love languages, then this person will be very communicative, very open and not closed off. You know, if touch is one of your love languages, this person will be very affectionate, very attentive to you. If honesty and trust is, you know, one of your love languages, this person will be very faithful, you know, very committed and loyal. This is beautiful. And so let's see what else we have. So we have alchemists. What did I just say? You all are manifesting this. And it says be bold and make the first move. So you've manifested this. So the divine is saying you've created this circumstance. Because as we saw, you're magical. You are the high priestess. So you have set your intentions and sent them you know, out into the ethers, your prayers, petitions. And now there's wish fulfillment. The alchemist is pretty much like that star. So it's like now the divine is saying not only will you uh, manifest this, but you have to make the first move, 48, 48. So that's 12, 12 again. So that's 3, 3, that's 6. So you've manifested this true love. You've manifested this person. And so now you have to make the first move because you have called this person in. The divine wants you to lead by example, you know. And we got Chico to barge igging me. So as I said... You know, with the boundaries card here also, you know, there was some ghosting going on. You know, this person can't read you. They can't uh, decipher your, 
your, you know, your body language or your, um, they can't read your mind, you know, because they feel very ignored by you. And so that's why the divine is like, look, you're going to be the one or has, has to be the one. You have to be the one, excuse me, to make that first step, to take that initial step. Um, especially if this is someone that you feel this chemistry and this connection with, you know, if you have someone in your mind and it's 49, 49 again, and I've been catching nothing but synchronicity. So I absolutely feel like some of you all are catching some of these numbers, you know, 444, 1111, 333, 222, 555, you know, and 49, 49, what's that? Nine. That's 13. So that's four, four. So that's eight. And that reduces to, um, um, what's that? Eight, eight. So that reduces to, oh my God, wait, was that? I See, I'm confusing myself, but scratch that. You knew what I was going but yeah, so this this is somebody, let, let me do the math, because now Divine is like, no, break that down so they can get, so 9, um, 49, 49. So that's 13, 13, that's 44, that reduces to 8, okay? So that's wish fulfillment, that's star energy, and the star, as I said, is like the alchemist. Thank you, spirit. So they wanted you to see that, that the star, if you think of the star in traditional tarot, she is naked. So she's turned her vulnerabilities into a superpower. She has one foot in the water and the other is like standing on the water. So not only has she learned to balance her emotions, but she's learned to transmute negative energy. So it's like in that process, you do have to be very protective. Um, you do have to create a wall of protection around you. And so you still have your wall up, your guard up. And that's why the divine is like, look, you have almost made someone feel like they can't approach you, um, like you're unapproachable. So that's why you got to take that first step, that initial step, because you're, you know, they feel ignored by you, even though you may feel you know, the opposite. You're the one, um, you know, because as I said, you're, you got to lead by example. All right. Ancestors, remembrance. So what did I say? Your ancestors, uh, your spirit team, your guides, they are like aligning you with this person, but I feel they're also, um, instructing you to utilize your power, you know, remember who you are, you know, your ancestors are alive through you. They live through you. And so some of you all have like spiritual gifts and talents, a calling, a divine purpose. And I feel like you are, you know, many of you all are very magical in manifesting your realities. And the divine is telling you, remember who you are, you know, remember. And, and, and in order for you to remember, that would require some meditation. But surrender to the divine is like, you know, all of the synchronicities that we've been uh, having in this reading um, could definitely be some of the experiences that you all are having in this um, physical reality. Like every day you may be having some sort of synchronized event or some sort of divine intervention. And that is the divine communicating with you and telling you it's time to surrender. I feel like a lot of you have ancestors 5252, so that's 7714, which reduces to five. So a lot of you have ancestors, like I said, communicating with you by means of either synchronized numbers, because five is the throat chakra. Um, and to me, I do feel like five also being the change, there will be some form of change um, once you communicate with this person and initiate this first, um, you know, this first attempt you know, first point of contact. So with this, the divine is like, remember who you are, you know, whatever you want, go get it, you know, because you're, you know, ignoring someone is not going to bring them in, you know, it's not going to bring what you want. So you have the ability to what it says, you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions. And this is clear. We see that. So you have to be the one, because as I said, you have to lead, you got to take the lead. Because you're teaching someone, you know, this is your divine partner. I absolutely feel that because all of these synchronized messages definitely will um, lead me to believe that. And so we have Jill Scott, how it make you feel playing. See, what did I say? Union. <laughs> I can't make this up. How it make you feel. This is, this is, your, this, this person is returning. You know, remember I was seeing that, um, you know, one of the numbers I said, it's like there's a, re, you know, this person wants to reunite. 
and this is a, a divine partnership and it will lead to marriage. I see someone in, um, proposing because we have prosperity in home. You and this person will be residing in the same home, living together. And you're going to feel amazing because you know that this is your true love. This is someone that you've manifested, someone that you have called home. you got homecoming and home. So this person is returning home to you. And this is because, you know, there's been a separation. And not only are you two coming into union and you're going to have, like, this love, you know, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. But I feel like this is going to make you very happy. These two people are jumping up for joy. And this is almost like the divine is connecting, you know, is bringing the two of you together. And this is going to make a positive change in your household. You know, ladies, you're not going to be alone anymore. You're not going to have to do everything alone anymore. The raising of the children, the cooking, the paying the bills, the taking care of the cars and the maintenance on the cars. And the, you're not going to have to do it alone. And men, you're not going to have to do it alone. You know, the cooking and the taking care of the children and trying to put a ponytail in your child's hair. Like, you're not going to have to do it alone because there is someone returning. This is a twin flame. And you're being rewarded. The divine is blessing you with prosperity, with abundance, you know, with love. You got love here. And on the bottom of the deck, you got passion. And this person will ground you. They will, this will be a very, um, a very, con like, I feel the two of you will know how to compromise. This is a very committed connection. You know, this person will absolutely, like, feel, like, very protective over you. This is beautiful. I love this reading, y'all. This is absolutely gorgeous, man. All right, so let's get some additional messages, some additional mess. What we're going to do, what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to get the angel wisdom. I'm going to pull some tarot decks or tarot messages, and then we're going to clarify those, and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck, and we have balance. So didn't I say you and this person balance one another? And I feel like the two of you are also needing to, you know, kind of find your own balance in your lives. Because when you're ending tough cycles, you know, you got to find your, your, your bearings again. You got to get your bearings again. And so there's a lot of balance. This is all, you know, you know, kind of like releasing the old, you know, this is beautiful. But I do feel like you and this person absolutely will uh, balance one another because I do feel like um, there's going to be like a successful compromise with another person, you know, especially with a new romantic cycle that the two of you will compromise, you know, because I kept feeling like with that grounding card that this person, you, you and this person, the two of you will ground one another and they're going to make you feel good. This is beautiful. So the bottom of the deck, I mean, split, we got the five of pentacles. Yeah, so, you know, this is, you know, in, in balance. So that's why this balance is here. You know, kind of getting out of that, that monkey mind, you know, kind of getting out of that space of like, you know, self-loathing. This is negative thoughts, which you manifest into reality. So if you are a powerful manifester, like that Rhiannon card who can, you know, powerfully manifest your thoughts into reality then you don't want to be you know somebody who thinks in that spirit of lack because you will create that um reality for yourselves but i do feel like there was um you know a sense of abandonment which could have led to that tough cycle um you know that karmic relationship feeling abandoned left out in the cold um someone mistreating you not seeing your worth and value um but it led to you doing great works within yourselves, you know. So this is beautiful. So divine spirit, maybe some of you all lost your jobs during, you know, this pandemic. And, um, you know, that put you in a really tough time financially. But you persevered through it all. You didn't give up. You didn't give in. Um, and that's why you're now being rewarded and prosperity lies ahead here. And it's like something you already knew. It's like you know your birthright is to live in opulence and abundance. You know that you deserve, you know, way more than what you were getting. And so by you holding that vision for yourselves, you know, because that's what hold your vision is. You know, when you hold your vision of what you see for yourself, then you manifest it more. Because that's what Rhiannon is, you know, focused intention. 
and that will this was all destined it was a part of your destiny you know you was meant to go through you know what you went through because I feel like it taught you valuable lessons but this is also propelling you to have a fresh new start and that's why the divine is saying that okay what you've asked for is here but you got to be bold and you got to go get it you know but there's a positive change it's a very positive change some of you all may be receiving like a new um vehicle some of you all could be traveling you know so divine spirit of love and light let's get some messages get a couple more shuffles and spirit of love and light what's coming in for the collective uh, spirit of love and light what's coming in for the collective I just saw what believe this is the two of cups so this is what's coming in for you all you can't get away from this cupid's arrow is shooting directly on um this couple here and i feel like you know the divine is bringing you into a spiritual union we already saw true love we already saw homecoming or hand fasting i said homecoming before it's hand fasting um so hand fasting and then home so this person is returning to you. And I feel like this leads to marriage. You know, this leads to some sort of engagement. You will both are giving one another a full cup of love. So I do feel like the both of you have just completed a cycle. Because when you're going through like a twin flame, you know, connection, as I said earlier in the reading, is there's a sense that not only are you mirroring one another, but there is a, a need to, you know, heal thyself. So as not to bring baggage um, into new relationships. So I feel like there's been a lot of work uh, being done, which is why the divine was, you know, a lot alerting you to the fact that, you know, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Um, and it's not only because of you doing the work, but your person has also been, you know, closing out a cycle as well. And you both are extending a full cup to one another. So it's not where one person's extending a cup and the other is feeling unfulfilled or there's this lack of reciprocity. The both of you will feel emotionally fulfilled, emotionally balancing one another. This is beautiful. I love it. Wise counsel. So there is going to be a marriage which will result in this. You know, somebody could be, you know, getting some sort of counsel from an elder or maybe someone is, you know, going through uh, some sort of um, counseling, um, you know, maybe just kind of healing through trauma. Uh, and this is bringing some sort of revelations to them, some some, you know, things that they've never even they've never even considered is starting to like spark their mind. Give me one moment. Let me get a sip of my water. delicious all right so on the bottom of the deck we have the chariot so this person is rushing in some of you may be dealing with a cancer because the chariot is cancerian energy but this person's definitely coming in there's like forward movement there's like powerful movement things have been balanced out and so now there's like forward movement coming in you know there's rewards that's coming from all of your hard work and what did I say before? That's why prosperity begins, because you've bust your behinds to get to this level. And I feel like intuitively, you know this. I feel like you're preparing for this. Not only will you be rewarded in terms of financial um, fulfillment, but you're also getting emotional fulfillment. And I feel like you've definitely like managed to like balance your priorities. Somebody else has also done that. And I also see this as like yin yang because you have two horses. So that's duality. So I am feeling there's this sense of like reward for your determination, for your willpower. You know, the divine has acknowledged that. There's no denying what you have had to do. Just like I said, a lot of y'all had to like, you know, you had to be reserved you had to be like incognito you know to get to the to you know get to get the result that you wanted see that look at ego so there had to be an ego death look at that and that that was something binding you know that was very binding that was very it, it was like a, con a constraint you know when you are too egotistical 
you know, there's definitely a lot of illusion involved, this entrapment of the mind. Someone was not taking a responsibility for their actions, for their misdeeds. And I feel like you knew you deserved more. And we have give it up, turn it loose playing by en vogue. So that's what you knew you had to do. You had to give up this illusion that this relationship was yours because you had a vision and this relationship or this connection or whatever that was that was binding you and keeping you stuck wasn't a part of that vision that you had. You may have been envisioning, you know, having a partner that would do everything with you. Exercise, be your best friend, your homie lover, your best friend, you know. And this person just had no interest in that. And so you had to give it up, turn it loose, just like in Vogue said. And that's what this endings and beginnings is saying as well. So you had to release someone, release something. There had to be an ending of a cycle. And I feel like that's when you started to manifest what you really wanted. Because you learned through going through that tough cycle that you are, in fact, the alchemist and the magician that can transform your reality into whatever it is that you see for yourselves. You realize that you created the potions, the elixirs, that you had control, you know, over your own destiny. And so this resulted in an ego death of some sort. Somebody was really struggling with addictions, unhealthy behaviors and habits. I'm feeling energy vampirism because this woman is being struck. You know, um, this angel is freeing her uh, from these, these um, chains. So somebody definitely was dealing with, you know, some sort of constraints. So divine spirit of love and light. Thank you. Oh, let's see what we got. And so we got seven of wands. See that? So you started to set boundaries, you know, you started to block out the negativity. This is you literally saying, nah, this, this does not look like anything that I've asked for, prayed for. So you started to set your boundaries. You started to put your guard up and you made a decision to walk away from something that was not serving your highest good, but you stood up for what you believed in. And you held on to your beliefs and you knew that you was, you, you confidently um, knew, you know, the same wand she's holding is the wand that's being held here. So you said, now nah, I'm going to create the reality that I see for myself. I'm not letting nobody else control me or this narrative any longer. You know, the art of forgiveness freed you as well. It allowed you to let go of that person. A lot of people don't realize that when you hold on to contempt and resentment and animosity towards anyone that has hurt you, they are still in your energy and you are still bound and stuck to them regardless. And until you actually forgive, because remember, forgiveness is for you. You're going to always be like energetically stuck to that person There's always going to be that level of control they're going to have over you and so i feel like that's what you that that aha moment kind of clicked and you said oh no i'm taking control of this situation but you started to challenge the people around you you started to speak your truths and you started to move forward in the direction or towards the direction that you wanted to go in but you wasn't allowing anybody to manipulate you any longer the high priestess you started to realize that you were very intuitive you was picking up on certain things you may have discovered a lot of lies which is why you initially put your guard up and chose to end the situation but you are highly intuitive you know and i feel like you did a lot of deep dives you did a lot of soul searching and this led to a lot of truths it led to a lot of information you know you stumbling upon like your own um you know your own understandings you know about your past about your childhood about your life you know this is powerful so why is um what is this card here new romantic cycle purification and spring so why is new romantic cycle purification See, transformation, because you've transformed, this is, you know, a very powerful energy. So there was a lot of changes, significant changes that had happened um, in your lives. And these powerful changes have resulted in some unexpected, you know, revelations here. And what you realized, as I said, was that, you know, something wasn't working for you. Your love language changed, you know, but I feel like, you know, by you opening up, 
by you transforming, you kind of triggered someone else or activated someone else, you know, in this process. Because if you have a twin flame, that person is also going to be activated. And so we have ghost face killer. This is called ghost Dini. So that, that person that was ghosted, that person that ghosted you, um, there was some sort of trigger by you healing thyself and learning to love thyself and learning, you know, who you are, knowing thyself. I feel like that absolutely triggered someone else to wake, to awaken. And I feel like by the springtime, I'm hearing April, you know, April time, April, May, you know, somebody may come in or you may make a decision to communicate or maybe there is something that will transform by the springtime. Maybe some of you all will be in a full on relationship with this person. But I feel like there was, uh, you know, the release. You let go of a lot of old belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors. And this has transformed you. I feel like you broke free also. You know, you broke free from the illusions. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles can't make this shit up. And so now the new can come in. This is what you see for yourself. This is that happy house, happy spouse. You know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful energy of not only financial security, for yourself, but also for your family. This is inheritance, retirement. This is building a legacy. And this is, you got to be bold to make this first step if you want this to happen. You know, this is also passing on knowledge. This is also pride in the family tree. So it's like, are you going to have pride, too much pride, you know, to not make the first move because you want to be right? Or are you going to have that ego death that we just saw and make the first step so as to manifest this beautiful connection because you are the alchemist. So your boundaries that are up, it, it could potentially block you from having this Ten of Pentacles because this is like the epitome of happiness. This is like peace and contentment in your life. This is family. This is commitment. This is longevity. So why is the uh, be bold, make the first move? Boundaries and the alchemist here, divine spirit. All right, thank you. Oh, God, that's too many. So the only card that's faced up I'm taking, okay, there's two actually. There are two cards. So we have awakening. So the awakening. And it says a temporary pause for reflection. So you need to reflect you know, on how you're doing, because I feel like the divine is saying, look, you know, you have awakened, you, you know, the truth, you could see what's going on. You know, this is the same as the uh, hanged man. So you got to look at things from a different perspective, a different vantage point, not just your own. This isn't about just being right. As I said, this isn't about pride and ego. You got to take a time to reflect on the situation from a different perspective and this will give you that sense of, you know, illumination and clarity where you can see things in a different light. But you have to embrace that this situation, it, it requires a different approach. You have to approach it differently, you know, and that's why the divine is telling you to make the first move because maybe you're not used to doing that. And then we have um, Mickey Howard Hope that we can be together real soon. And so if you want to be together with your partner real soon, you're going to have to make that step. And with this, we have seven of pentacles. So as I said, you've been planting a lot of seeds, you know, and the seeds you've been planting are now, they're blossoming. You see that? Her seeds are blossoming. They're, they're producing fruit, you know? And so these are things you've manifested. You've, you've kept your vision. You've still worked hard. The divine has taken notice. And it's like the divine is also telling you to surrender because you may feel unfulfilled because you're not seeing the bigger picture, you know, and you want to be with someone. It's almost like you're longing for someone. And so you've just kind of kept busy, kind of got lost in, you know, work, in your goals, in different endeavors, in family, in a hobby, in honing a skill, maybe studying, going to school. But I see... I see that like the seeds that you are planting, you know, they will definitely garner a lot of abundance for you. They will be rewarded in your future. And I feel like you know that, you know, 
because you are very magical. And I feel like if it's in regards to love and pertinence to love, this person will be with you soon. Because this is, I hope that we will be together soon. So you're hopeful that this person will be with you soon because you've been manifesting them. And the divine is saying that there's unnecessary worry here because these are seeds well planted with good, you know, you, you've sowed in good faith, you know. And so right now, this is a time for rest and preparation and planning for your future. So whatever you are, you know, desiring, it's coming, but you need to prepare for it. So if you're not in the best physical shape, maybe some of y'all, that's why the home card came out. Because as I said, this could represent your physical body. So maybe taking some time out to start really, you know, getting your health and wellness in order. Start looking, you know, more confident. You know, you're, when you the way you look will make you feel confident. You know, your clothes, you know, maybe changing your wardrobe, you know, doing some work on yourselves, healing yourselves and preparing for this you know, this new venture and voyage, planning for the future. So you and this person, I feel, will be together soon because that's what Mickey Howard is saying. And I do feel like this is going to be someone who's absolutely like, you know, a divine masculine, your twin flame. You know, this is someone who's very logical, very organized, a go-getter. Um, this is someone that makes things happen. I do feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, um, in terms of business, in terms of your career, um, in terms of your finances, especially with prosperity lies ahead, there is a lot of abundance surrounding you. And I feel like, as I said, you've taken lead, you've taken the reins, you're in control. So you have to take that step because, you know, the emperor is like very action oriented, you know, he's very organized. So you have to accept the leadership role. Remember I was saying, you know, you have to accept, you know, that responsibility. The divine's telling you to surrender. So it's like you are, you know, they want you to take lead here. If you want to be together soon, you have to take lead. You have to initiate contact. That's a beautiful message. So why is Vesta home, abundance, prosperity, hand fasting here? Thank you, spirit. The sun, look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading collective. I, I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. This is like, this is a time of great joy and success. There's gonna be positive changes to your household. So whoever's coming in, whatever changes you're making, it's like positive changes. There's abundance. You know, the divine is pouring out abundance to you and you have to be open to receive it you also have this beautiful card of fertility so you are the divine feminine i feel like you got a, a divine partner that's coming in for you all this is like you're having these grand epiphanies you're realizing your true worth and value there's a lot of opportunities presenting themselves it's plans and things that are working out very beautifully and i feel like you have to be thankful Show gratitude to the divine because the divine is rewarding you with everything. This is like a very happy ending. This Look at this. Look at these cards. Your home life is going to be very satisfying. This is happy house, happy spouse energy. On top of that, you have financial stability. On top of that, you have emotional fulfillment. On top of that, you're very abundant. There's clarity. There's truth. There's illumination. This is a beautiful reading here. I love this. So why is this um, true love here? See that? The Ten of Swords. So completing a cycle. The ends of you know a situation. Remember, end of a tough cycle begins. So this is the decision you made. Somebody else could be walking away from a situation to come towards you because they know you're their true love. So as I said, you all are mirroring one another. The end of a tough cycle begins. So you have sparked this ending you also had the endings and beginnings which is the world card so every great ending or every ending excuse me denotes a very new beginning a very brand new opportunity and i feel like this person's coming towards you and right now we have um what is this called bounce rock skate rock um roll so yeah this is somebody that's gonna be like you know they're gonna bounce right back to you. I feel like they're bouncing back to you. So why is true love 
Why is true love here? I feel like the two of you may go skating, might just do fun activities. There's going to be adventure, excitement, you know? This is somebody that, like I said, is going to be like your homie lover friend, you know? Because maybe in the past you was with somebody who was too strict, too controlling. So we have the Page of Wands. See that? So this person is definitely coming in very fiery. They're very enthusiastic, very optimistic. This is somebody who is like really coming in and uh, to fuel your passions. They're very passionate about you. They have a lot of fire, a lot of desire. And I feel like this is also someone who sees you. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is how they see you. They see you as someone very self-sufficient, very independent as the, the pre-emperor status and the queen, you got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like they see you as someone who has like literally, you have evolved. It's like you've ascended. You've reached a space, a status of like self mastery. You're very generous. You're very practical. You're very domestic. You're very loving and caring and nurturing. Um, but you're also someone who's like. You have a very beautiful sensitivity about yourself, you know, and with this queen of cups here, I do see like emotional balance, you know, like you've really healed yourself. You're very psychic, very compassionate. This is a very self-sacrificing individual. So it's like you, you have sacrificed to, to get to this point. And that's what the divine is telling you. Also, if you want something, you got to sacrifice your pride and your ego, be bold and make the first move is sacrificing you know, your pride, but you have worked very, you know, hard, very tediously. You've been very resilient, you know, in this process and on this road to healing. And, and this is why you have this, you know, this reunion. This is why someone will propose to you. You know, it's like you're now enjoying all of the fruits of your labor. You know, your hard work has led to you being able to live very, you know, very successfully you know, in this very successful, luxurious lifestyle, you know, you could be like gifting yourselves with something. Um, you know, right now I feel you're very, you know, you're single, but you're also very open now because it's like you've, you've restructured your life in a way where now, you know, you could take care of yourself. So there's a sense of self-sufficiency, independent, independence. And so now you would be open to having someone because remember the boundaries it's like you were protecting yourself from, you know, hurt and pain because of what you endured in that tough cycle. But now that you have rebuilt, you've, you've elevated, you know, like you went from being the nine of pentacles to the queen. So this is like growth. This is elevation. But you're also very emotionally imbalanced. You know, that queen of cups is very loving and nurturing. and You, you care for others. But you can't take care, you know, you know, care for others to the point where you forget about yourself so you had to master that but this is beautiful man this is a beautiful reading the bottom of the deck there's going to have to be a decision you may have more than one option that may come you know and present itself but i feel like you need to use head over heart um in this situation you know because you don't want to appease and try to please people. You got to do what's going to be best for you because there could potentially be several options, you know, coming towards you because you are very attractive at this time. You know, you're, you're very attractive. You're very beautiful. And we got Hill Street Soul. This is called Paradise. So a lot of you definitely are um, enjoying a very successful stable prosperous life it's like you you definitely have abundance here what's underneath two of pentacles so someone's definitely coming and wanting to work together and this this is that person that wants to reunite you also may have someone from your past that wants to return that's holding on to you this is someone that could have potentially left you out in the cold you know what i'm saying but i feel like the person that is coming in to kind of match your fly is definitely someone trying to strategize. It's like they're up in their head trying to figure out how to come in. And that's why the divine is probably telling you to make the first move. Because they're kind of like talking themselves out of it, you know. But I do feel like you all will be living in paradise. You will feel like you're living in paradise. Because 
this this is a beautiful connection like a twin flame soulmate this is a very beautiful reading for you all so collective i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in i do hope that the reading resonated for you um if you found that it did please be kind hit the like the share the subscribe button definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever i upload um, if you are new to the channel, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Thank you so much for your comments, your likes, your shares. I give love and light and uh, have a beautiful day. Ashe.